I've completely lost track. There's an uncountable number of Toho or ranges of, of various tunes from throughout the series, and there's every genre under the sun that you'll find. So we even found, we had a kind of question once at Anime USA back in Virginia, because it was Virginia, we got this question there. Someone was looking for a country western remix of a Toho song, and we, then, we eventually did find one. And so it's absolutely everything, anything you can name, there's going to be a Toho remix in that genre of some song. So John is going to talk about some of the aspects of the music, the original music stuff in this band. Uh, you already, in fact, you already heard a few of you came in early. We had Smooth the Groove doing it as acapella version of UNO and for a while there. And we had, I wasn't paying attention to what the other stuff was beyond that, because none of it was important Smooth the Groove. Portuguese for being able to laugh at there. There we go. And then third concept we had. So, uh, I've talked to my, I've talked your ears off in uh, years past in regarding to uh, just how much uh, the uh, Japanese and some of the Western fan base can produce. So, what a big end on. So. Who here has not heard of Toho Tuesday? I think that's the first thing you're going to talk about here. Part of it. All right, Toho Tuesday is wonderful. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that. There you go. That's it. So, uh... Oh, right. Well, I'll do that in a second. I have something else to show first. Um, so, I went to Video Game Music Database, and I wanted to look up the number of different albums that had cited inspiration from the film. <laughs> and... Uh, this is it. This is the list. Um, it's at 2% magnification right now. <laughs> I can't make this up. Um, and the total list is 4,400 albums. Albums. That's had uh, 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 people uh, from, from, from Japan, the US, had, uh, Western community really, um, had produced uh, albums and released them. And uh, yeah, in comparison, uh, uh, in comparison, uh, OC Remix, any OC Remix fans? Yes, no? Woo! Woo! OC Remix, Remix has 2,500 songs. Uh, there's no real math there, it just is what it is. Uh, 4,400 albums of 2.5k two, uh, 2 songs. And um, it, 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 I can talk your ears off in regards to, oh, go look, there's these different types of groups. Uh, go, you might enjoy them. Uh, you might enjoy them. Go, go out and pursue. Look at YouTube. Put it in. Plug it in. Uh, but it, it, you really just can't find what what's out there without actually just having it presented to you. And so I tend to prefer having uh, kind of advertising these different uh, um, places that will actually stream music. Uh, from, uh, generated from Toho fans uh, in regards to uh, arranges for their particular songs. And so, uh, one of the ones I, I've listened to for a little bit now is In Sokyo Radio. Um, I do enjoy it, but it's a music stream, and it's kind of just a music stream. It kind of is a little bit uh, lifeless. Uh, they do have shows every once in a great while, but I've actually never been able to listen in on and they will present, it's, it's, it's a great thing to listen to for uh, background noise, it's, uh, and eventually you can go back and find out uh, which songs were played, which ones you enjoy, uh, which different groups were uh, played, since there's about uh, 400 different ones at this point. And um, it's, it's, it's something to enjoy, um, uh, just, as, uh, just to have. And, but um, it's just, just a stream, so I prefer an actual uh, radio show, which is, has a bit more life to it, so I prefer Toho Tuesday. Um, I'm partially advertising it. Um, um, uh, like it says, it's um, uh, it's uh, for us. It's it starts at uh, 8 p.m. every Tuesday uh, at uh, Arecibo Radio. It, it's definitely different in that it has actual hosts, actual a more sort of active community to a certain extent. Um, it has a real kind of us kind of feel to it, like um, uh, just this is 
Uh, this is Overcoat, he's the greatest guy. Look at that face, how can you not love that face? <laughs> so, so this is the DJ, and he certainly looks like, uh, uh, he's definitely one of us. Um, that face alright. How can you not love that face? Um, he, he's been around uh, for uh, a little bit, uh, doing, um, he just, he just loves um, music in general. He'll go to places like MagFest, um, he's he's um, real big on uh, making music as well, so he, he really is involved in the music side of things um, and uh, Toho music in general. So he's been doing this for a little while now, and it, uh, his experience is starting to show. Um, show by number one. Um, um, what was I saying? Um, so you didn't blame me for that one. You did that yourself. No, I did. Um, so he has a good feel for it, he, he knows what he's doing, and yeah, each show turns out uh, pretty well. Um, just in general, they, uh, he'll play about uh, 20 different songs. Um, uh, after a number of songs, uh, he goes back into uh, general information, general things about what's going on. Uh, there will be talk about, uh, like there was talk about uh, double dealing character, um, new changes to the Hopeless Masquerade demo, since there's been a few different updates to it. By the way, double dealing character and Hopeless Masquerade are the two games that are slated to come out next. Uh, Hopeless Masquerade is the fighting game that we demo here, it's going to be released tonight. And the demo for Total 14 Double Dealing Character is going to be released also probably. Actually, before we go on, can you cut that moment? We have a request so you can play some music to drown out bad noise. Oh, yeah. Don't well, drown out you, just drown out bad. So, actually. Yeah. And hopefully. Uh, it's so, there's a go. It's French. It's so, you know it's going to be good. And she has not do, uh, I guess, relaxing music, so it's pretty cool. Does she oh, sing in French? I don't think so. So, uh, typically it's just music, 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 music. Um, uh, every so often there will be a theme of the week, uh, like there, this is the a jazz episode, uh, a lot of great uh, uh, numbers, um, a lot of uh, Tokyo Active Needs, which is a great group, um, they have released uh, jazz albums uh, over the last three years now, and each and every last song they produce is fantastic, and there's even some of their live video playing, uh, videos playing online. I can't believe you added that knowing you. Well, I guess That's a weird way of spelling overdrive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I just love Miracle Phoenix to death. I don't have that. Actually, actually they play it at the end of the episode. Bro, why you insult me? I, this, this is unintentional. It's, it's a tongue in cheek thing. It's, it it, yes, it is. Please don't take it too personally. Uh, it's too good. There you go. It's too good. Oh, nifty. That's pretty awesome. So he, he does play he does play some of uh, uh, he just he will play any and every group, um, including Neosis. Um, I do I don't hate him that much, I just love here if you're that much, I swear. Yeah. Everyone does. Um um, he, he's really open to um, taking your requests, so if you have anything that you want to show off to other people, uh, go ahead and find it, he'll plug it in in any way you can, whether it's a YouTube stream or finding it somewhere else on the internet. Um, he does have his own taste, he's a big fan of Shibiyan, uh, but he, he really plays and picks out uh, just about everything. I've heard him play um, sort of a spaghetti western remix of Faith is for the Chains of People. Uh, he's played a 80s rock ballad of a particular song that I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, but he takes he takes uh, anything he can find and he'll throw it on there. Um, the community is pretty active and typically uh, his IRC channel, which I'll list at the end of the presentation, is uh, very, very uh, busy during uh, uh, when it, Toho Tuesday is playing, and as such, there is a lot of discussion going on to match um, what uh, Overcoat likes to talk about. Uh, so, um, it's always very busy, there's always a lot of uh, requests going in, there's always a lot of obscure stuff popping up, it's always, uh, it's always an interesting show. 
And so in addition to uh, some of the other stuff he's done, I think he's, he's had uh, three different interviews. Uh, he likes to interview people in general, so um, he's gone out into the uh, uh, fan base in general and picked out a, uh, a few select names in order to get an interview uh, with different uh, Toho personalities, so to speak. Um, first of all, this is... <laughs> This is this is Halopoulos. Um He's a guy who's a big fan of Warogaki's work. Uh, Warogaki being a very proliferative uh, doujin artist, as well as uh, someone who uh, draws his experiences in uh, the uh, different events in Japan, uh, Rei Tai Sai events and, and uh, whatnot. And uh, this is how Halopoulos presented himself uh, during, uh, I think, Rei Tai Sai last year. Uh, yeah, I think so. This is, this is legitimately how the boss did this cosplay. For those of you that play Huawei Breakers, he yes, has another guy's Barlet Tenji outfit, and he gave the one looking like that. And uh, what about his stunned expression in the bottom left there? Um, and it's it's uh, it, he goes through uh, overcoats and Halepolis talk about uh, Halepolis's experiences uh, going to Japan, uh, the events leading up to it, uh, talking to Warogaki in general. Uh, Halepolis actually. Uh, meeting Warogaki's folks and finding out that he has a very normal family while uh, Warogaki really isn't. 